de Colegiul Național de Minoritate de Mani, de nu nu prezentă le probleme sur les vies de filme, nous avons travaillé avec des étudiants de lycée d'Aditus de Briançon, mais ils ne sont pas ici à Lyon. Donc, je vais commencer. Je vais commencer par expliquer le sujet de la filme. Nous avons un point distinct de ce plan et dans ce point, euh, il y a des caméras qui peuvent filmer une angle θ. Euh, donc, euh, euh, la caméra peut être orientée dans quelle direction nous voulons. Et euh, nous avons de trouver le terme n θ le fait qu'on le ait une caméra sans le sommet du polygone régulier et euh, quand elles sont alignées, euh, ça que le plan est filmé. Bonjour à tous. Uh, I don't speak French really, but I'll try to explain in English as well as I can and I hope you will understand what I'm trying to say. So, our first observation regarding the problem was uh, how to choose a minimum angle to cover the internal plan with all the cameras for a general case. So, for uh, this angle named theta, has a minimum measure of 360 degrees uh, divided by n, n being the number of cameras. Okay, so uh, we can make the theta this angle bigger and it still remains uh, our demonstration is complete as you may uh, as well see. The first case when there is only one camera is very simple because of course we have 360 degrees for the angle divided by one 360 degrees. Very simple. The second one, two cameras uh, uh, placed like this or really anyhow on the straight line they will uh, cover the entire plan and now, for what we did uh, our best form, uh, we are going to present you the first part of the problem, which consists now in uh, uh, placing the cameras on the vertexes of a regular polygon. For the second case, we have used the translation, and we d'abord savoir qu'est-ce que c'est que la translation. Donc, nous avons un vecteur U et un point A euh, qui est de plan. L'image de A est le point A prime euh, et le vecteur A A prime est égal à U. Donc, euh, nous avons des propriétés pour euh, la translation et euh, Nous avons que la translation peut conserver euh, la distance entre deux, deux points et aussi euh, la translation euh, conserve la mesure du angle. Euh, aussi, nous avons découvert une propriété euh, et elle est que lorsque l'on translate un angle dans euh, la même direction que la bisectrice, euh, mais dans le sens négatif, Euh, de l'angle initial sera inclus dans l'angle obtenu. Mais euh, je vais expliquer ce tableau. Donc, nous avons l'angle. Now, I think it's time for the second part of the problem, where the cameras needed to be put on a straight line. So, uh, for my colleague. Bonjour. Uh, I don't speak French, so I will speak in English. Uh, we, so, in this case, we have the camera on a straight line. Uh, firstly, as you can see, we define the left and the right on one angle, and of course it's interior. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> uh, let me explain you how we place the cameras here and then prove it. Uh, we have two cases here. The first one when n is even, as you can see here. Okay. We'll place the cameras like this. 
Firstly, we divide uh, the cameras in two groups uh, because then it's easier. We can do it. Um, the first, so half of the cameras will cover the top part of the semi plane, and half of them the bottom part. Okay, we start with the first angle, the red one here, and we cut it like uh, its right vertex goes through this line, and its left vertex goes like this just for the angle theta to stay uh, 360 divided by n. Now we continue it by uh, taking this line parallel to this line, and the angle theta needs to be uh, 360 divided by n. And so on, so we just translate the angles and we rotate them by a theta angle. And from the bottom, we do exactly the same thing. So this and the angle theta, and now this is parallel to this, and the angle theta, and so on. Uh, now we uh, begin our proof. Uh, I know you don't like uh, how it looks, but uh, actually it's very easy. Uh, okay, let's assume there's a point. Uh, we'll prove it for the top semiplane first, and because of the symmetry, the bottom semiplane is exactly the same. Let's assume there is a point M in the top semi-plane that is not covered by any camera. Uh, of course, because we have this configuration here, like this one, if there is a point M in the top semi-plane not covered by anything, it will be placed in the left of this camera, of the first camera. Because uh, the first camera doesn't really have a right. So it will be in its left. Now, uh, let's consider two uh, consecutive cameras. Let them be this one and this one. Uh, this angle is the same. Uh, we, uh, if you came to our uh, forum outside, uh, you could see this game. Uh, my colleague will show it for you. It's made in GeoGebra. Uh, as you can see, we have six cameras. Uh, with six different colors, and uh, you were asked to try to find the answer to the problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions? <coughs> you can think like this. If you zoom out everything, they tend to be in the same point. Because they are on a straight line and the distance doesn't really matter, as my colleague said. So like, if you zoom out uh, very much, they will tend to be in the same point. This is why uh, what's written on the board is um, correct. Any questions? Any other questions? Uh, I think she wants to know why you didn't spread the cameras all over the place. So you, uh, why, why did you fix the point on the line which is in, in the middle of the plane? Uh, it's not really in the middle of the plane because the plane doesn't really have a middle. Uh, you can you can see that uh, this is what we are asked for. Uh, I think she's asking about uh, generalization of the problem. Uh, we already uh, talked about that. Uh, yeah, we. So it's pretty hard to see uh, if they are not on a if they are vertices of a polygon, but not a regular one. Uh, we've uh, analyzed the cases for three and four, but uh, the generalization is pretty hard to do. We, it's an it's a international research topic. Okay. Yeah, so the main idea is this. From this one, you can spread all around it if you want. You can consider the angles in space. You can consider the angles however you like. And uh, in the end, it kind of comes to the same uh, points to this, really, and the minimum angle um, says it all for uh, the generalization. But very interesting questions. So he's asking if you consider the three-dimensional space. Yes, I understand. Yes, so uh, to continue uh, to be something uh, like what we presented, not to be far off, really, uh, I thought that uh, if you need to cover a room, perhaps, it has a height. So you have the height of the room and many, many cameras. You can uh, just put the plans like uh, 
the one we showed you to put them like any in the cases uh, we presented you and uh, make uh, the angle of theta so in every plan it looks like this so like many many cameras on the height of the camera should survey the whole uh, system if they are transparent then the given conditions are the problem and if, if you have uh, so of course the, our work isn't infinite yeah. if you have a room of a convex shape uh, these if you take it in a uh, two-dimensional space, uh, it actually works. Because the, if the shape of that is convex, for example, a square or a circle or anything, uh, you, so the cameras will uh, see it. Uh, yes. Any other questions? Other, other questions? Pardon, let's get another question. Alors, on remercie...